Ganda ko. Ang ganda, ganda ka ko. naman talaga eh. <laughs> Baha? Hey what's up everyone, this is Daryl Yunis and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I will be showing with you how I did her makeup on her pretty poo. So the first thing that I did was to cleanse her face using Garnier to put some toner. And also, I use Aqua product as her moisturizer. And the last thing that I put on her face is a tomato glass skin. Also, I set it using the airbrush equipment. And for break time, nagsuot muna si client ng kanyang contact lenses. And to begin the makeup, of course, we have to put some primer. And after that, sinet ko ulit yung primer using the airbrush equipment. And also, pinrepair ko na natakpan yung kanyang eye bags. Though hindi naman maitim, pero I just, it's just my usual uh, thing to do is to cover up the eye bugs and also nag start na ako doon sa kanyang eyebrows I use eyebrow soap and beauty glaze eyebrow pomade or gel ba siya and then um and emphasize ko na siya or nilinis ko na siya using the concealer and actually it was not a concealer I use foundation na malapit yung shade niya sa kanyang skin color. After that, I put some concealer on her eyes to begin her eye makeup. And since the theme is Enchantress, I just put a light eyeshadow. Okay, so on this part, I am already putting the wing liner. And after that, I put some foundation as a base for the airbrush makeup. I actually didn't have any problem with her skin kasi as in sobrang ganda ng skin niya and sobrang lapat na lapat yung pagkakalagay ng makeup sa kanya. So I'm already blending the concealer that I put on her um, eye bugs and ayan guys, kakalat lang natin siya. And of course, sa nose niya, don't forget to put some concealer sa kanyang uh, forehead, which is yung sa gitnang part lang. And um, sa nose niya, sa kanyang nguso, and also sa chin part. Kasi yun yung mga bagay na dapat i-highlight natin sa face niya. After putting the concealer, um, pinahanginan ko siya using the airbrush compressor or airbrush equipment. And then, ayan, naglagay na ako ng airbrush foundation and after that I set it using Nichido powder now I'm about to do her nose line and yung nose niya cute tapos medyo matangos siya kaya sobrang ganda niyang i-nose line at lagyan ng contour Dito ako actually sobrang nag-iingat kasi when it comes to nose line, super uh, uh, sobra ako maglagay at mag-contour mag ng nose. So ayan, nilalagyan ko siya ng powder para malesen yung color ng nose line or yung pang-contour na nilagay ko sa kanyang nose. And after that, ayan, nilagay ko na yung kanyang false eyelashes. And also, yung kanyang lower lash line, we have to uh, uh, put uh, shadow powder din doon para mas ma-emphasize yung eyes niya. And I'm putting brown eyeliner and of course yung um, eyeliner na silver or white. Naglagay ako yan kasi gusto kong mas ma-emphasize at mag-glow yung eyes niya since yun yung nagdadala sa makeup. And of course after that naglagay na ako ng um, what do you call that? 
highlighter sa nose niya and dun sa may teardrops area niya and also doon sa kanyang kilay sa pagitan ng kanyang kilay at ng kanyang eyeshadow and of course what I'm doing right now is her blush on okay so so super um nipis lang na nilagay ko kasi maputi siya and kapag too much tayo baka alam mo yun tumaray lalo yung mukha niya so after ko maglagay ng um bronzer after that blush on nilagyan ko na ng powder sinet ko ulit for the second time and after that i'm already doing her lipstick okay so tatlo yung ginamit ko sa kanyang lipstick or sa kanyang uh, labi So, I am already removing the powder na nilagay ko sa face niya kasi mag-start na ako sa kanyang buhok. And of course, don't forget pala to put some highlighter before putting uh, lipstick and also highlighter sa kanyang baba, sa kanyang pisngi or kaya sa may malapit sa kanyang cheekbone, cheekbones after the blush on. I am also trying to contour yung kanyang um, uh, face shape para lang sana mas ma-emphasize yung shape ng kanyang mukha. So, ayan, in that part, we are actually having some chit chat sa kung anong parte ng mukha niya yung pinakagusto naming dalawa. And yung gusto niya yung left side, ako naman, I really like yung right side ng kanyang mukha. Ganda ko. Ako, maganda ka naman talaga eh. <laughs> maganda ka na talaga. So now I am doing her hair already and actually yung hair niya medyo lumalaban siya sa kulot kaya pagdating namin sa area kung saan kami nag photo shoot um, nawala na siya or like yung pagkakulot dyan sa video na yan hindi na yan yung umabot dun sa photo shoot mismo due to the um, tight time na rin na uh, medyo nagmamadali na kasi nga late na nag-start due to traffic ng pagsundo sa akin and ayan hindi natin siguro siya masyadong nabigyan ng time para lutuin siya sa init and one factor also is yung hair niya talaga is medyo lumalaban siya sa kulot so ito yung kinagandahan ng pretty boot kasi alam mo na kung ano yung gagawin mo mismo sa araw ng dito niya like sa hair niya so kailangan ng time for it. So, kakailanganin ng oras para mas lutuin siya sa init. Her pretty boot is actually supposed to be on August 14, but since there was an announcement that there will be an ECQ, ayun, so bigla ang nag-set kami ng schedule for the pretty boot on August um, 5 before the ECQ and I really thank God for this client kasi at least I will be able to pay the bills that I have for this month since wala pong work thank you Lord so now here is the after makeup 